Topic 3.3, dividing by multiples of 10. Today we're going to be dividing two-digit numbers by multiples of 10. Shouldn't be too hard. All right, let's get busy. To start with, how do you know if a number is a multiple of 10? Well, it's going to end in a zero, right? Like 680, that's a multiple of 10. 642, not a multiple of 10. It's got to end in the zero. So if it doesn't end in a zero, and you're dividing by multiples of 10, dividing by multiples of 10, you're going to know that you're going to have a remainder. Keep that in mind. Let's say your soccer team has $160 that you're going to use to spend on uniforms. Uniforms, they cost $20 a piece. So how many uniforms can the team buy? Well, we're going to take 160, total the dollars. Each one costs 20. So how many times does 20 go into 160? Well, we know that 2 goes into 16 eight times. So 20 would go into 160 eight times. So you could buy eight uniforms. What if you um, had $166? How many uniforms could you get? Well, this ends in a 6. It's not a 0, so you know it's not going to go evenly. So 20 goes into 166. It's going to go in those 8 times. That's going to get you 160 with the remainder of $6 left over. Were you able to do mental math to solve this problem right here? 160 divided by 20? Probably so. Uh, not so easy, maybe an extra thought or two, to solve 166 divided by 20. Let's try another example that goes up to the thousands. Let's say we have 100, I'm sorry, $1,206 raised. And we're going to buy some warm-up suits for the team. Each warm-up suit costs $40. So how many warm-up suits can we get? Well, we see that this ends in a 6, not a 0, so we know we're going to have a remainder, right? All right, I'm just going to kind of look at this, and I'm looking at the 4 going into the 12, what, 3 times. So, but we need something that's going to end up getting us close to 1,206. So looking at this, 3 times 40, well, that's 120. I need 1,200, so I need an extra zero there. So here's a zero here. So we have the 120. If we add another zero here, let's see, 40 times the 30. 4 times 3 is 12, plus the two zeros. Correct. That will get us to that. So that looks correct there. And we have $6 left over, right? So we have a remainder of $6 left over. 30 warm-up suits, $6 left over. That might buy you a pair of socks. Let's try a couple of extra problems here to see if we're all on the same page. Let's say 222. Ooh, nice and green. Uh, divided by 30. Oh, it's ending in a 2, so we're going to end up having a remainder here. So looking at the 30, goes into 222. I'm thinking... 21, so 210. So I'm going to go ahead and say a 7 here. 7 times the 30 gets me 210, right? And we'll subtract that. That leaves 12. 12 is less than the 30 there. Nothing left to bring down, so we have 7 remainder 12. I want to make sure that, you know, there's many different ways that you can solve these. Uh, let's try this. Let's go 936 divided by 40. Are we going to have a remainder? You betcha. But we can look at this. We can still do DMSCB, divide, multiply, subtract, compare, bring down. We can divide 40. Does 40 go into 9? No. But 40 can go into 93, can't it? How many times, how many 40s can we get out of 93? Two. So that would be your divide. Multiplying two times the 40 gets you 80. 
subtract 93 minus 80 gets us 13. Make sure I'm doing this right. Compare. Is 13 less than 40? Yes. Do we have a number to bring down? Yes. So bring that 6 down. Okay, looking at this, how many groups of 40 can we get out of 136? You know what? 120, we can get three groups out, right? So I'm going to try a 3 here. 3 times 40 is 120. Subtract that. Get 16. 16 is less than 40. Nothing left to bring down. So we have 23 remainder 16. Did you follow that? Ah, you know I'm going to do one more. Let's try 766 divided by 50. Ah, uh, yes. Going to be a remainder, isn't there? This one right here, looking at it, using some math sense. Um, gosh, 50, that's an easy unit to work with. You get two groups of 50 and, and 100. So you'll have out of 700, what's that, 14? 14 um, sets of 50. And then you're talking 766. That's an extra one there. I bet you we can do 15. So 15, and I know that will be 750. So that would be a remainder of 16. But let's say we want to do that one the um, old-fashioned way, the DMSCB, 766 divided by 50. Okay, we'll put this for reference, DMSCB, divide, multiply, subtract, compare, bring down. 50 goes into 7, no, it goes into 76, yes, one time. Notice that I'm putting my 1 right there. 1 times the 50, 50, put that, subtract those, get 26. That is less than the 50, so I'm good to go. Bring down the 6, 266. I know 5 groups of 50 would give me 250, so let's put a 5 there. 250, subtract those. Lo and behold, same answer. All right, you think you can handle these? Go ahead and try your problems over here. And... I will see you in the morning.